what's one story that maybe you've never shared? A, one story possibly about Shock and the other story maybe about Pac. I'm sure well, you have a lot. Well, I was talking to my brother earlier. Let me share the story about Jack the Rapper. Okay. Right. So, you know, it's, so we had, I get around, right? Yes. Which was, you know, a, a big record. <laughs> it still right? is a big it's, record. Yeah, it's still rocking, right? But it's just amazing how many times we've, you know, I could count the number of times that we actually performed that record together with me, me, Shock, and Tupac, yeah. all performing at the same time, like on two, on two hands. Oh, wow. Right. Maybe 10 times. And, and it's just like situations. Sometimes something happened and Shock can't be there. Sometimes, a couple of times, I couldn't. So one of the stories is we were at the Jack, uh, Jack the Rapper in um, Atlanta. Atlanta. So it was like whatever, 90 whatever, when I Get Around came out. Yeah. And we were supposed to perform there, and um, Pac was on Interscope. Mm -hmm. He wasn't on Death Row yet. But Death Row was, was popping, right? And it was around the time when Dre and Snoop made that record talking shit about Luke and what's the name of that record? Um, I, know, I know what you're... And you got tooth in, yeah. in your mouth and all that. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Um, so you meant these don't, 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 don't. Are you talking about Dre Day? Fuck with Dre Day. Dre yeah. Day, right. So that record. So, you know, they we down south. And yeah. so Luke came up with all his Miami boys to Atlanta to see, because it was like a death row showcase. Yeah. It was really an interscope showcase. Yeah. And we were going to, Pac was performing. We were going to perform, I get around. So in the sound check, we're in the, in the ballroom, and all of a sudden, the doors, they... People were rushing to slam the doors and everything. And I guess the Miami dudes that came up in there bum rushed the hotel looking for deaf row people. And they wouldn't let anybody out or anybody in. So we were in there for like some hours, just kind of trapped inside this room. Wow. But um, but we weren't supposed to perform till like, you know, it was the convention. So I think we were supposed to go on at like two and two AM. Or something like that. Wow. I think originally we were supposed to go on at midnight, but they pushed it. Yeah. So now you guys are gonna go on like two or three, something like that. Wow. And so when they when it was kind of cool to go out, all right, go get some rest, get dressed, blah blah blah. Meet back down here at like one or whatever, and we'll do it. Yeah. And I think I must have woke up a little late. And I must have got down there just after one, but the same thing had happened. They tried to bum rush the thing, so they shut the doors wow. again. So whoever was inside was inside. Um, Naughty by Nature was performing, uh, Diamond D, um, some other Interscope artists. It was like a mix. Yes. Right? Um, and, and even in another room, Run DMC was performing there, because I wanted to go see that, but I didn't get a chance to go see it. And... All I remember is just standing outside, helpless, because they was not letting anybody in, and I could hear Pac performing, and then I get around, comes on, and shock, and Pac doing it, and then when my verse come on, Big Stretch is rapping over my verse, and I was like, oh, oh man. man. And that was just another time where, by chance, we didn't get to perform it together. So even when we were in the same vicinity a couple of times, and there's been a couple of times where Something happened where Shot didn't make it. You know, he was on his way, and Tupac didn't want to wait, and we just did it without him. <laughs> it was just, it was always something. Then another time, we were all there, but a fight breaks out, and so they shut down the, the club. It's wow. Just like, we probably attempted to perform it at least 20-something times, and we maybe only actually got to perform it all together, like right. 10, 10 to 12 times. You know, yeah. most of the time it got performed, yeah. but just there's always something where either myself or Shock somehow didn't make it to the stage in time. Yeah, yeah, you know. And Pac wasn't waiting for nobody. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's just so many things that I want to ask you pertaining to that, you know, but now let me ask you this. Um, mm -hmm. As far as Pac, was there ever like a, a alone time, what I mean, like you guys are just conversating and... Uh, 
you know, I guess for people that will never, ever get a chance to meet him, can you kind of describe at least to you what kind of friend he was, what kind of person he was to the people? Uh, kind of give us a picture of what Pac was like I mean, inside. Pac, he was a, he was, he was loyal, even to a fault, right? So he was, he was a, he was a, a loyal friend. I Meaning, if he was really your friend, he was very loyal to you. Um, if you were on his bad side, he was just as passionate in the opposite direction. Oh wow! You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, he was a, a thinker. You know, he 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 would question anything and everything. You know, yeah. but, and you know, he was raised to be that. Don't just accept anything. If you question it, ask the questions. So, and he wouldn't bite his tongue yeah. for anybody either. So, you know, that's what it was. Now, whatever people sort of. Um, what they take from that, meaning when you're interacting with somebody like that, depending on how secure and insecure or, or whatever it is, yeah. when somebody is that blatantly upfront about everything and straight to the point about everything and yeah. will tell you how they feel, whether you don't like it or not. Yeah. You know, some people took offense to that. You know, um, I didn't, you yeah. know, because I was... I was raised around that. Yeah. You know, I understood where he was coming from. And, 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 you know, I have a lot of, uh, you know, very confident people in my life and just how I was raised. So that didn't threaten me. I wasn't threatened by his confidence or, you know, what people say, Oh, he's to this, to that. Ah, he was just, you know, yeah. You feel it, about it. I mean, I know he was a young man when he was in Digital Underground. He was also a young man when he was at Death Row. Yep. We the, all were young. Yes. When he was at Death Row, at least in your eyes, was he, was he still that same guy when he was in Digital Underground? Or was there a change? Did you see a shift of when he got out of jail and he started doing the things he was doing, being more vocal? Or have you always seen that side of Pac? It kind of depends on exactly what you're talking about, and I, and I'll just paint it this way. Okay. Right? So everybody on this earth, yourself, us, and myself included, we, um, you know, we're influenced by our experiences. Yes. So if you get shot, you go to jail for something that you know. You don't believe that, you know, you actually did. You are not going to be the same person Absolutely. after that than before that, right? Yeah. So, you know, your your trust is going to be different. You have to move a little different, you know, and that's from your experience, Yeah. right? You know, I, I, I've, I've been robbed, right? Shortly after that, I moved a little different. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you just, you know, you have to. And then, and all the same time, all of us were young. So yeah. you're, you're not the same person that you were at 18 that you was at 24. 